first of all, we need to think which part of the country is, uh, sees Europe. So if we're talking about the government or about the public opinion, because now Tunisia being a democracy, I think uh, we need to see, first of all, how public opinion perceives Europe. Uh, and uh, I think in that regard, Europe is still seen as the main uh, partner of Tunisia, uh, the place where they get, uh, where Tunisians get better education, better uh, jobs, better healthcare, uh, where they can uh, create a better future. Actually, Europe is still seen as the main partner when it comes to uh, to consolidating the de democratic um, life of um, of the country. However, there is also a lot of skepticism when it comes to Europe because of, uh, first of all, the economic and uh, the economic pressures that come from Europe from time to time. Uh, things like the um, grey lists that uh, were announced recently. Um, there is also a lot of uh, pressures coming from Europe, uh, from European policymakers, media, etc., regarding migration. Uh, and also, of course, the colonial past is always around. So, uh, the, the, the you know all these problems that I mentioned, you add to them the colonial past. Uh, there is uh, there is a fear that comes with it. Tunisia today needs to, to diversify its partners. Uh, so Tunisia needs to look uh, elsewhere, like China, like uh, the uh, Arab countries, the African countries around, uh, and uh, the US, of course. This is needed so that when uh, in, in negotiations with the EU, such as the uh, DCFTA, at least that will give Tunisia uh, some a bargaining tool. But uh, having said that, the EU will remain a priority for for Tunisians. You as, um, as a partner will guarantee some political stability in the country, uh, also sustainability, economic sustainability. Uh, the EU remains the, the largest partner, uh, the largest trade partner of Tunisia, the place where most Tunisian expatriates uh, live uh, and, uh, and because of the historic ties, the EU will remain uh, the priority for Tunisians.